morning guys welcome back to my channel on today's video i'm filming an in-depth morning routine this video is inspired by one of my greatest friends and favorite people in the world danielle carolyn i will have her video linked down below i just thought it was such a good idea so anyways i wake up probably around seven it depends on the day oh my gosh all of my bedding is from target actually right now my matching pajamas are skims slippers are uggs um robe is skims but anyways i wake up around seven and i go downstairs i read and i journal and i drink coffee fitz actually thinks that this chair is his bed he sleeps in here all the time like he just loves it i'm starting off by brushing my teeth i have a brush if you know you know i give myself about like 30 minutes in the morning to do my, do my morning pages read a little bit Before, because I don't like wasting my skincare and doing it twice, I just put on a moisturizer because I'm going to work out, so I'll eventually like shower it off. This is just the Inky List Peptide Moisturizer. I love the Inky List. Their skincare is so inexpensive. This moisturizer is probably $10. My hyaluronic acid is like 7 Next, I'm just putting on my Laneige Lip Mask, which I'm almost out of. It's way too much. This is so good all right so i grab my kindle and my journal and i head downstairs here is the look i always have candles burning in my house this is the volcano candle from anthropology if you don't know it's the one they burn in anthro and that's why it smells so good so i pretty much always have this candle going currently doing dishes so i have like nothing left over Look at these cute little espresso shot glasses I have. I'm gonna take this one. That is one of my Dolly mugs. So cute. I have the Nespresso. I think this is the next, or it's the Virtua. I can never remember. Um, I like it. I normally just drink my coffee black. I'm not really like ever making lattes with this or anything, but I do like it. When I have my coffee, I'm going to go to my little chair over there and do morning pages and do a little bit of reading. Morning pages is where I write for three pages straight, gets everything out of my head, it helps so much with anxiety. I just love it. It's like the best way to start off my day. And then in the morning, I'll read a little bit of like a nonfiction book that I'm reading. Right now, I'm reading The Go Giver. Don't you guys just love my mug? so cute who else loves dolly but also i'm just so cozy i used to wake up and immediately change into workout stuff so that i wouldn't have to go back upstairs and change or whatever but just giving myself this like 45 minutes to be cozy in my house love it i normally sit over here it just changes by the day i pretty much never finish my entire cup of coffee drink maybe one third of it. I've been really bad about it in the morning. Okay, the notebook that I have is from Allswell. I actually really like it. Um, I got this when I went to Malibu with my management. I have two pins in here. Um, one is from the Adolphus Hotel because when I go there and I spend a hundred dollars on tea, I might as well get a pen. And then I also just have like a big brown stick pen. One of your favorite pens. I'm definitely very picky. I like this journal because it's lined and then it's also non unlined. It's too early. Also, sometimes I like a graph notebook, like graphing paper. That's also great. Um, and then for my Kindle, I have the Kindle Oasis. I've answered questions about this a million times. I have an entire post on Instagram about reading in my Kindle and stuff if you guys want to go back to it. This is the Kindle Oasis. I don't have Wi-Fi. Um, I don't find that I need it. It's the more expensive Kindle. It's unnecessary. I read so often that I was like, I want to get the nicer one just because I literally read 100 bucks last year, as we know. It's unnecessary. I definitely like it better than the Paperwhite, though. I will say, like, going from this and then reading Paperwhites because I gift them to people a lot. Um, I do like this one better, but it's also because it's what I'm used to. Unless reading is, like, one of your biggest things in life, um, get the Paperwhite. I love my Kindle. Best purchase I've ever made, truly. love starting my day off like that now i will read and drink my coffee a little bit of it out of my dolly mug i'm currently reading the go giver which um i think justin anderson recommended it on a podcast and i just think it is such a good business book 
because it's about the like secrets to success and the way it's told is so interesting. It's a very short read and it's essentially about like giving more than you're giving, you know, getting, no, it's about giving more than you're giving um, and I just love the book, so. All right, it is now 7.40. I'm gonna leave for Pilates in about 30 minutes. I haven't even been playing music in my house in the mornings. I really just like to sit and obviously I don't talk to anyone, but just be still and be quiet. I used to always have jazz music playing in my house, like constantly Frank Sinatra, whatever. That's kind of what I grew up on. But I also grew up listening to country music in my house. And so recently I've been playing like Texas country throughout my house because it's just so relaxing and it's listen to a playlist that I have on Spotify. It's made by Spotify. I think it's like Texas country now So relaxing so I play that later, but not before I also try to not get on my phone really until I at least do morning journals It's typically like when I drive to Pilates I'm in the middle of doing my dishes and doing laundry So I feel really um, out of whack and I'm not gonna have a cute outfit today. So um don't worry about that. I honestly wish I got up even earlier just because I love this time and I will especially love it once I redo the furniture in this living room. I am really just waiting and waiting and waiting. Then I come over here. Honestly, I like to have my stuff set out the night before. It's like literally coming out. I have so many, but I haven't done that just because I have so much laundry to do. Okay, so it's cold out. So I need like actual leggings. I'm just at one of those points where nothing matches. I have so many matching sets and we're out of everything matching. Do you ever just put off doing your laundry for like so long? Okay, I have this set active set. I love the leggings. This bra just like doesn't give that much coverage, but I'm just going to Pilates. It's gonna be annoying. I try not to wear this as much. I love the box cut bra um so those are the ones i need to stick with they're the most flattering on me as well oh wait you know what nope just kidding i found this pink ear of our set i've worn this a good amount i love it i love these leggings i forget what they're called i wear a size medium and then i have this top as well i love like a box cut type of sports bra so i'll wear this um i'm gonna change into this and then i also have this coat I got this long puffer from ASOS that I've been wearing non-stop. It's perfect for in the mornings when you're throwing things on over your workout clothes to go to Pilates because it's like really cold, but you're not there that long. And it's just really cute, especially if you're wearing this and you wear like sweatpants and crew neck, this cute socks, sneakers, things like that. Like I just think it's really cute. So anyways, off to get ready. My face is like a lot paler than normal. Also, this bathroom washes me out. Hot Pilates is my favorite workout. I go to Shine Hot Pilates in Dallas. You guys can actually use code JOINKENZY and you get your first class for free. The only thing that sucks about Hot Pilates like all around is that you sweat so much. So like your hair is just gross. So I have certain things I'll do if I'm trying to not wash it every day. Just because that's so bad for your hair. But I'm going to wash it today. So I actually don't really care about it getting gross because today's a hair washing day anyway so normally I would like pull it up out of my face or something but today I'm just gonna pull it back like this because it's not a big deal. So here's my set as you can see it has these little like cross downs that Ari blew up on TikTok with but your parts actually started it. Anyways I love the workout stuff it is like the best quality it's Always this is what I grab for. If I'm gonna pick any workout line, it will be your Mars and then it will be set. Here I am with my puffer. I mean, cute. And then I just have on my Prada slide slippers because you obviously don't wear shoes in the class. Comment below like what workouts you guys like doing. Such a Pilates look, such a me look, you know? Do you ever look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, oh my God, I'm actually almost 25. Yeah, it's like really scary. Okay, so for deodorant, I'm just using Degree, but that's because that's all that could be delivered to me that day because I ran out. I love Native, but my subscription on Amazon at least or whatever, I don't know where it, what happened to it. Maybe I need to renew it. Um, so I was out. I love a good aluminum free. And honestly, I spray perfume before workout, okay? I have Byredo Mojave Ghost. I mean, like... I just think there's never a bad time to smell really good, you know? All right, so it is 7.52. I'm going to leave here by 8.10. I need to see the dogs out. Um, this is when I'll take them 
to a little like yard situation and they'll run around for a little bit. My dog walking schedule kind of changes in the cold. We'll typically go more like throughout the day or in the afternoon for like a longer walk. Um, but in the morning, Fitch is kind of like turning around anyway, so <sighs> I'm excited. I love my morning routine. I also used to have a really complicated one, and I feel like I've just made it a lot more simple. Um, when we get back, though, I'll show you like all the products that I use and everything that I do with that. I think I'm going to blow out my hair with my Dyson, which is, ooh, really something. All right, so this is the look. You have our set, obviously. Prada slippers, ASOS puffer. I will try to link everything below. Come on, Bob. Good boy. Good boy, Fitz. I have the dishwasher going right now, but I have this water bottle that I love. I, I got it um, because they talked about it on the Skinny Confidential, but it is so good. It's also really big, so I fill this up throughout the day. I basically choose a water bottle in the morning. This is like my go-to. I'm telling you, this is the best water bottle, and it makes me drink a lot more water. So this is also when I feed the dogs. I'm not able to give dog rack food or dog food racks right now because we are changing it up with their vet. But I like to feed them. They're on a pretty good schedule. So oh, oops, sorry guys. I'll feed them before I leave the Pilates. So then they're ready to go outside whenever I get back. Now I am ready for Pilates. I mean. I really love the part. So now it is time for me to choose a podcast to listen to. I'm feeling okay, sis, this morning. All right, great. I made it to Pilates, 10 minutes. Oh, early always. I need to get there early so no one takes my spot in Pilates, like the corner, the front corner spot. Oh my God, there's like two mirrors, so your form isn't gonna get messed up. It's just the best. Around this time though, is when I normally check my text from my editor who runs the podcast Instagram. Just okay to have a strong opinion on something. Yeah. You know? And then I'll just go approve it, send that I love it, and it goes up. I am absolutely dead. Just finished. Oh my god. First thing that I do when I get home is take the dogs out again. Fitzy, come here, bud. Come on, boy. I'm home. I've laid out my outfit. I'm going to wear these pants again, guys. This is what I'm throwing together because all of my clothes are currently in the laundry. I just put them in the dryer, but this is from Aritzia. This vest is from H&M, and ever since I bought it, I haven't been able to find the exact one. I'll link a similar, but it was like 30 bucks, and it's the best vest ever. I have these pants that are actually are also from H&M, and then I have this bodysuit in case I want to wear it, but I think I want to go with the crew. And then I'm just going to wear some sneakers with it, call it a day. That's the look. I'm about to shower, so I'm listening to a podcast again on my Amazon Alexa. I'm out of the shower. I'm in another Skims robe. This is what I use to wash my hair today. I don't always use this, but it's a purple shampoo to keep it more blonde. This is Fanola. As you can see, I just use them, so they're really messy. For like body wash, I've been loving this Above City Soap Shower Oil. It is so hydrating. That's what I'm looking for at all times, but especially in the winter. And this is an oatmeal honey. Anything oatmeal honey is like exactly what I want for a shower. I grew up with like all oatmeal honey products, so it's just really comforting. Um, this stuff is so good. It's really like a thick oil and it leaves when you wash it off and get out of the shower Your skin is like noticeably more hydrated and then I get out and I use my Capari ultra restore body butter This is the best body butter. I've ever 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 used It has hyaluronic acid, which I love you guys will see in a second. It's just beautiful It makes your skin like shine and it smells so good it lasts a long time there's a lot of products in here and you don't need a ton so moving on to my skincare i use my hyaluronic acid this is from the inky list legit seven dollars you know what else i'm gonna do today i'm actually gonna put self tanner drops in i normally only do this at night but my face is really pale right now so i always mix it in with my hyaluronic acid this is my favorite face tanner it's luxe unfiltered so savon ayla's self tanner I love it. She also has um, a body lotion, which is like a gradual tanner. Um, I need to wash my hands so I don't get self-tan hands. 
I'll let that sit a little bit and then I'll go in with my Summer Fridays face oil. This is the Heavenly 16 All-in-One Face Oil. There is nothing that moisturizes my skin like this. Oh my god, it is my favorite face oil I've ever used and I'm way more of like an oil girl. Um, it's just everything underneath it. I think this is probably my number one holy grail product. The Super Goop Glow Screen. This is SPF 40. It's the product that made me start wearing SPF every day, which I know I will be so grateful for it later on. But it also just blurs out your skin a little bit. So if you're not wearing like face makeup, it just makes your skin almost like you are wearing makeup, but in like the most natural way possible. It is like really just incredible. Next, moving on to hair. So I don't always wash my hair. This obviously adds like probably 30 minutes to my routine. I'm starting off with the Way by Rado um, leave-in conditioner and this stuff is so good. I just spray it throughout my hair before I brush it out. Then I brush it out with a wet brush. I've used a wet brush for years. I also like having my skincare like really soak into my skin. So I try not to do my makeup right after skincare, which is why I'll like start doing my hair and then in a second I'll make breakfast. But I just find that my makeup sits and looks a lot better if I give it a little bit of time. Last, I go in with the Olaplex bonding oil. Just get a little bit of this, rub it in my hands, and then I just go through the ends of my hair. I actually really need a haircut right now, but. So now, while my hair is drying a little bit, my skincare is soaking in, I put on normally like a podcast. Typically, it's the morning toast, but I love a good video podcast. Honestly, BFS podcast, that's what we'll do. I'm starving. I normally make one of these breakfasts, but honestly, today I'm making both so I can show you guys. So I'm making a bacon sauerkraut hash. This is so good. I don't know where my coconut oil went. You do need that. Maybe I'll just use olive oil. And then just avocado toast. The real winner is the glaze. This is what I'm making for breakfast, but honestly, I've never really had them together. It's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> So first I cook the bacon, I'll eventually add in a sauerkraut. And then I currently have my toast toasting and my air fryer toast oven thing. This thing is so convenient, it looks way better. And it does so many different things. So I'll link it below if you guys are needing something for your place, your apartment, you're moving, you don't know what to ask for for a birthday. This is such a good thing to have. All right, so now I'm just taking a jar of sauerkraut. You want a lot of it and putting the rest in here. It'll all cook together. It is just so good. Here's my beautiful toast. It tastes incredible. So it looks like it's almost done. I like it a little bit burnt. I like pretty much everything a little bit burnt. It doesn't even look that good and then you taste it and you're like, this is the best thing I've ever had in my whole life. Here is my breakfast number two, I guess, but it is so good. <laughs> my Dyson and dry the rest of it. And then these are the extensions that I use. I, I will put, I will link the ones I use. I don't, I don't think that these even came in the original kit. I think these are like added accessories because they're a different size. So these are the two that I always use. I'm trying to actually do my hair in the morning because it makes me feel like so put together. I just start curling it when it's like barely wet still. That's what holds best for me. The way I use my Dyson is not how you're supposed to use it. Um, so don't take this as a tutorial, but this is just what I do. All right, so I'm gonna hairspray it. I like my hair to be like messy and kind of like effortless looking. By the way, a Dyson Airwrap is so worth it. I've had mine for probably a year and a half now. Nothing makes your hair look better. I have a lot of hair, but I have really fine hair. So my hair is super thick. You maybe can't tell, but it's just, there's a lot of hair. So it takes forever to dry it. That's why I just like, never do it. Um, anyways, I'll eventually like comb through it, but I'll let it sit for a second. It cuts my time of doing my hair in half. It's crazy. Okay, so moving on to my makeup. I really try to do a very simple makeup look during the week because one, I just don't really have the time and two, I just don't feel like it. I am shooting today though, so maybe I'll do a little bit more than I would normally do. Um, okay, we're starting off with the Milk Hydrogel. This stuff is so good and it keeps 
your face hydrated and keeps your makeup on all day it's a primer typically i'll just throw on some cream products and some powders but since i'm shooting today i think i'm gonna do it a little bit more i don't want like a full foundation um, okay maybe i'll do the kosas oil i've never put this on with a brush it's basically like your skin but better i've never applied it with a brush though so this product is super natural and dewy it doesn't even look like you're wearing anything on your face honestly in person next i'm going to go in with my cream bronzer this is the milk makeup one i love it also this is the sephora 70 brush and then sometimes i'll add just like a little bit more right here and then i'll take a little bit less of a product and put it on my eyes next i go in with the rare beauty blush it's mars fair blush and i loved it so i purchased it for myself i use it when she's at my house i apply this with a brush just because i find it's a lot easier this is the pro foundation 64 brush i love this for foundation um but it's for whatever reason become my blush brush so all right so next i'm gonna go in with my hourglass bronzer here we go and just kind of buff it out moving on i have an hourglass bro blush um just sleeping it on i have the charlotte tilbury powder so i'm gonna sleep this over my face and then um set with the hourglass like dim light powder hourglass dim light powder also one of my holy girls forever for my brows i use the kosas brow gel i love this sorry for coco i'm really in a rush today because it's decided to get his paws very muddy so i had to call to give him to the groomer i had to clean up a lot so we're running back or i use the Ilya mascara and then i'll put on some lip product and you guys will see all right so now i just finger comb through my hair a little bit i added a lipstick my camera was dying this is my current lip combo i use the pillow talk lip cheat lip liner the hourglass velvet teddy in hint it is um, like a liquid lipstick, but it stays all day. And then I just throw on like a clear lip gloss on top of it. And this is the look. It's really easy, very simple. Okay, this is my outfit. Not my best yet. Um, like I said, I have no clean clothes. They're all in the laundry. It's really easy and cozy. I'm actually shooting later today, so I'll end up changing a few times. But that is the look. And now my hair, over time, it'll fall and it ends up looking so much better. Also, I added some hoops to my outfit. I wear these every single day. They're from Jennifer Fisher. I always forget what kind they are, so I'll put them on the screen. We're gonna make my real coffee of the day. I have to have an iced coffee, and that's the only thing that gives me energy. But guys, breadwinning housewife, Tumblr, I was the trucker. Tumblr, we have a new collection dropping, including this, I believe, February 10th. So mark your calendars, it's very, very soon, but I use this every day. So this is the iced coffee I have right now. I typically always have Califia, honestly. This is the unsweetened medium roast. I really just get whatever is available though. Um, I definitely prefer like Califia coffee. It is so much iced coffee. It just really makes my world go round. Next we have nut pods. I love nut pods. This is just the French vanilla. Um, I'm a simple gal. I'm a basic gal, if you will. Nut pods by far are my favorite creamer. There we go. I also love this tumbler because it can completely close, which is so nice when you're driving or you throw something in a bag. It just makes me feel better. But anyways, this is my coffee for the day. How cute. All right, guys, that is it for my in-depth morning routine. I'm now off to do the rest of my day and start working. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I got a specific as I could and I added a bunch of stuff. So I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Bye. I have to diagnose somebody in order for them to sit in my chair. And so there were some executives that would want to work with me, but they didn't struggle with the textbook depression, the textbook anxiety. They didn't struggle with that stuff.